Late one spring, United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his faithful deputy Jingles rode along a lush green valley in the shadow of snow-capped mountains. Indian territory still untouched by the coming of the whites. Somewhere ahead, they knew there was trouble, but they'd face that when it came. Ah, oh, steer broke ranks, and the boss said, kill it, so I hit him on the back when the handle of his killer. Come it, die, yippee, 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 come it, die, yippee, yippee, yippee. Oh, why don't you sing with me, Bill? Oh, that's what you're doing, Jingles. Oh, you're over on me, ain't you, Bill? Sure. Jingles, did you ever see a more beautiful valley? No, sir. You know, a cow feeding in this valley, it'd get fat as a butterball. Hmm. <laughs> Spider ball. Say, Bill, that reminds me. Speaking of feed, always remind you. Well, then, let's get on to Red Mesa City. Whoa, Buckshot, whoa. Hey, Jingles, those shots are right up ahead. Yeah, sounds like somebody else is getting hungry. Hunters, maybe. You reckon? They could be. Uh, plenty of plenty of game to hunt around here, I'll bet you. Hold it, Jingles. Listen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, Joker, easy, boy. That rumbling. It's coming closer. Bill, Bill, I've heard that sound before. You never mistake it. It's Buffalo Jingles heading up the valley. Come on, let's go. Stampede Buffalo, thousands of them coming right at us. They'll be on us in a second. So we gotta turn them, they'll run us down. Not a chance, Jingles. Ride for the hill. Ho, ho, ho! Ho! <laughs> Don't know how we made it, Bill. Just be glad we did, partner. Oh, I am. Indeed, I am. You know, another couple of seconds and they'd have swarmed right over us. I've never been so scared since my Aunt Abby mistook me for a pincushion. The rifle shot stampeded the buffalo. A couple of them lying down there dead. Oh, forget them. No, no, I think we better have a look. Oh. Come on up, boy. Bill, Bill, we, we're going to Red Mesa City. Won't take long, Jingles. All right, all right. Dead or alive, I don't like buffalo, but if that's what you want. Hey, I got a notion to find the guy that started that stampede and blow out his leg. Hey, buffalo were both shot. Well, what'd you think? They died of old age? Say, where the hunters? That's just what I'm wondering. Well, why don't we just... What's the matter with you, Bill? You look like you've seen a sky blue pink Gila monster. Jingles, don't move. Huh? Freeze, I said. Unless you want an arrow through your back. Indian. <coughs> hey. hey, they was hit there in the grass waiting for us. Easy now, Jingles. Let them come. And bows are drawn. We shall be sure ain't hunting buffalo now. Oh, white man who killed food of Indian. Drive from hunting ground. Now, hold on. We didn't kill them, old buffalo. Easy, Jingles. Let him talk. Many times he come. Break treaty with Indian. Now white man die. Wait. Only Red Horse will speak for his people. You're the chief, Red Horse? Chief of the Shoshone who hunt in the shadow of the mountain. Yeah. If white man not kill buffalo, let him prove it. Look at our guns, Red Horse. They haven't been fired. Oh, well, now, uh, does that satisfy you? Gun's not been fired. But we not know why you are here. Well, I'll tell your boys to put down those flying stick pins and we'll tell you. Red Horse, my name's Hickok. Why, well, I'm Bill Hickok, if that means anything to you. What's more, he's a United States Marshal. And he was sent here to clean up some Indian trouble. Jingles is right. We were sent to this territory to make peace again between the whites and your people. But still our buffalo are killed. Soon food all gone. My people starve. Die. But ain't you got no idea who done it? White man. That we see. I'll make you a promise, Red Horse. I'll do everything I can to catch the men responsible and see that justice is done. Always white men make promises. Too many times he lie. That's my word, Red Horse. All right. Then you go free this time. The white killer's not stopped before three moons passed. My people go on warpath, right into Red Mesa City, burned to ground. Hi, partners. This is Panhandle Jim, your old sidekick. Well, how's things out at your diggings? Got your corn pops? <laughs> well, I have. It's a right good habit to always have them around. 
"'cause Kellogg's Corn Pops are a wonderful new eaten cereal already sweetened for you. Now, come Wild Bill Hickok time on the radio, I sit back big as life and listen while I eat my Corn Pops right out of the box. Come breakfast time, I eat them in a bowl with milk. No sugar, mind you. The sweetening's already there, and plenty of it. Now, take a look at the silver-like bag that your Corn Pops are sealed in, right inside the box. That shiny bag is pure aluminum. Keeps your Kellogg's Corn Pops fresh up to ten times longer. Say, and tell your mom this. That bag's plum wonderful the way she can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches and keeping them fresh and tasty. Now, you're going to want Kellogg's Corn Pops at your place, sure, if you haven't already got them like most folks. Now, listen to this. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. Pops love Pops. Right now, let's all dig into our corn pops while we listen to Wild Bill Hickok. After hearing Red Horse's warning to go on the warpath if the white man's marauding of buffalo herds isn't stopped, Wild Bill Hickok and Jingles ride on into Red Mesa City. There they tell the sheriff all that happened. Yeah, so them Redskins are sitting in war, are they? Well, if that's what they want, they can have it. But but that's what Bill and me came here to stop, Sheriff. Mm, take more than you two. I'll get a dispatch through to Fort Laramie, and we'll have the army out here in no time. That's the worst thing you could do, Sheriff. Eh? The Indians don't want war. Well, they got a good way of showing it. Red Horse's people are desperate. Sure, they're ready to fight, but only to defend their land and the buffalo herds. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, come in, Senator. Well, good evening, Sheriff. And a mighty pleasant evening it is. Uh, Senator Hasty, shake hands with Marshal Hickok. Hickok? Sure not Wild Bill Hickok. Some folks call me that. Well, this is a pleasure. Sir, a genuine pleasure. And this is my deputy, Jingles. <clears throat> well, I always wanted to meet a real-life Senator. I how's things in Washington? Tolerable, thank you. Uh, Senator, I... I'm afraid Hickok didn't bring very pleasant news. Indeed? How so, Mr. Hickok? Jingles and I had a run-in with Chief Red Horse and several of his tribe today. Mm -hmm. He says white men are marauding his buffalo herd. Yeah, yeah, that's the Indian story. They're making war talk, Senator, and that suits me just fine. But only as a last resort, Sheriff. Red Horse strikes me as an honorable chief who will listen to reason. Yeah, well, they're all the same to me. And I say the sooner we clean them out, the better. Sheriff, you know, I'm getting a little bitty hunch that you don't like Indians. Say, perhaps we could talk further about this, Hickok. If you and Jingles would honor me as my guests at dinner. Well, now that you're talking, Senator, only if it's the same to you, I'll have some supper. Just give us time to stable our horses somewhere. At Mrs. Mallory's boarding house, then. Say in a half hour. See you there, gentlemen. Well, the uh, stable's down at the end of town. Nobody there this time of night, but you can find a couple of stalls. Thanks, Sheriff. And remember, forget about sending for help. At least till we find out the truth. Oh, now... You know, I sure wish we could find a lantern in this stable someplace. We've unsettled in the dark before, Jingles. Easy, boy. Get over it. You know, I can't figure you sometimes, Bill. This talk about learning the truth. Well, 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 what more is there to learn? For one thing, why had somebody deliberately start trouble between the whites and the engines? Well, now, who'd go and do a fool thing like that? Here's a pig for your saddle. Uh, you didn't answer me, Bill. And I won't, till I'm sure. Bill, that sheriff. He don't like Indians, I'll bet. I'll bet that he's the one that wants to send for the army. Let's go, Jingles. We've got a date for supper. Yeah. And, and, and what you thinking, Bill, if the sheriff's starting all this trouble? You'll bear watching. Here's the door. Yeah, well, at least we can see a little better where we're going outside here. Jingles, look out. Arrows, Bill, and away too close. Keep down. There's, there's a horse I had telling that fast. There goes your dry culture. I'll get him. <laughs> Oh, I might as well be shooting at a black cloud. Come on. What for, Bill? I can't outrun a horse on an empty stomach. He was hiding behind this shed. It always pays to look. Well, just so there ain't anybody else waiting. Well, we'd know by now if there were. Here, let's try a match. Guess you know one thing now. Red Horse ain't the kind to keep a promise. Sent one of his Indians sneaking right up into town. You think so, Jingles? 
Look at these tracks. Huh? That horse was newly shod. That means it was no Indian pony. Well, doggone. What you gonna do now, Bill? Go back and have a look at those arrows. Then we meet the senator at Mrs. Mallory's boarding house. <laughs> Well, the Turner is a terrible thing. Shock and thirst. Absolutely shocking. There's some principal attack on such worthy men as you. I trust this affair hasn't upset you, Mr. Hickok? <laughs> At least it hasn't upset Jingle's appetite, Senator. <laughs> well, if it did, I hadn't noticed. See that these gentlemen have all they want, Mrs. Mallory. I sure will, Senator. I always like to see men folks that know how to eat. Well, you're sure looking at them, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I know of your reputation for arriving at the heart of matters, Hickok. Perhaps you already have some idea, huh? Oh, sure. We only got here today. Uh, yes, naturally. Uh, just the same, Bill's got an idea somebody's stirring up trouble for some reason or other to get the Indians driven out. But what possible reason could anyone have? Well, Senator, not that there's any truth in it. But rumors do get around town once in a while. Rumors, Mrs. Mallory? Like the talk that there's gold in the Indian Territory. Gold? Now, I don't say there is gold there. It's just a rumor, for what it's worth. Here, pick up. Senator. Yes, Sheriff. Yes. Why this interruption? Oh, them ornery redskins done it again. They burnt down the Haverson spread, plumbed to the ground. The yeah. Haverson Ranch? You sure, Sheriff? Yeah, Utah Ike here and some ranchers just rode in, told me all about it. I seen the place and I got them out. But the place was wiped out before we could get there. Bill, that's all. Utah, did you actually see the Indians at the Haverson Ranch? Well, don't see that makes any difference. No, the burning was done with fire arrows. Utah said there was plenty of them around. Who else but an Indian would do it? Well, you've got a point there, Bill. Sure, if I know how much this means to you and Red Mesa City. But leave this to me, and it may take time. Time, yes. Meanwhile, we're all killed. Yeah, it happens that I just wired Fort Laramie for soldiers, as many as they could send, and fast. But I told you that would open warfare. They've got to stop them. Yeah, they're already on their way. When they get through, there won't be an Indian left in this whole territory. Oh, wait, 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 wait now, there's still apple pie coming, Bill. Now, where are you going? We're going, Jingles, to settle up for a long ride. <laughs> Bill, I ain't liking this. I ain't liking it at all. We've got to talk with Chief Red Horse again. The sooner the better. Well, the holy catfish, just the two of us, right into the Indian camp? We've got to do it, partner. Well, at least the sun's coming up. You know, I'm kind of funny that way. Always like to see the man who's about to scalp me. Bill, I got a funny feeling. Yes, Jingles? Well, uh, like we're being watched. You know you're right. They've been watching us right in for the past hour. Oh, hey, hey, do you hear that? War drums. Sure. A camp's just over this rise. Conclusions. Bill, Bill, for the last time... You can turn back if you like, Dingles. No, oh, it ain't that I'm exactly scared. It's just that my hair keeps pushing my hat off my head. Ride directly into camp and watch every move. Three, two, three. Look at them, Bill. Swarms of Indians in war paint and feathers. Don't let them get the idea that we're scared. So you want I should fool them, huh? That big teepee over there ought to be red horses. Yeah, he's waiting there for us. I don't like his looks, Bill. Or any of them, for that matter. The way they're looking at me makes my scalp feel real loose. Well, up. This mod with me. Look. It's them. Oh, White Ben Hickok, who made promise of peace, comes again, eh? Yes, Red Horse, and I still want peace. White man lie. Army come to drive us out. A good thing. Bill, I, I told you there, no mind to listen. Your answer, Red Horse? If there is way to stop war. We listen. Red Horse sees only truth in Hickok's eyes. Talk fast, Bill. Red Horse, is there any truth to the talk that there's gold on your land? Yes. We see white men digging mountains. There is gold. Well, there's a reason for the trouble. Why, sure, Bill. Those coyotes want the Indians out so they can claim this land and get the gold. 
There's a way to smoke out the white men who know where the gold is. Will you help us, Red Horse? We help. Then I'll tell you my plan. Working together, we can catch the men who started this trouble. But if plan failed, then army come. Then Hickok will be first to die. Hold the corn pops a minute, partners. Some of you are chomping so loud I can hear you from here. <laughs> no fooling, though. I'll bet plenty of you're doing just what I'm doing. Eating corn pops out of the box like a, a colt going after a sack of feed. Now, Kellogg's corn pops is better than other cereals because it's the two-way cereal. And it's good at delighting folks both ways when it comes to eating. Out of the box or out of the bowl with milk, it's wonderful. They're a real tasty snack with a sweetening already on them. Yes, sir, they're already sweetened for you. Tasty, puffed-up, happy hearts of corn, all ready to go. Yes, partners, they're a real two-gun, two-way cereal with B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. So if you aren't already settled back enjoying Kellogg's Corn Pops, you better hit the trail for the store and get a load of them as soon as you can. You'll need plenty, because the whole family's going to be getting into them. Now, let's say our little saying all together. Kids love pops, moms love pops, and pops love pops. Well, right now I'm hankering to get back to the show. Come on with me, huh? Now, back to our story of Wild Bill Hickok. Wild Bill has stayed on at the Indian camp to work out his plan with Chief Red Horse and has sent Jingles to Red Mesa City with a message. Did you hear that, Senator? Them sneaking cowards cleared out lock, stock, and barrel. Well, this is difficult to believe, sir. You sure all the Indians are gone, Jingles? Sure, the gold's there for them that wants it now. Yeah. Hey, gold? Who said anything about gold? I fear our friend Jingles has fallen for all that idle talk, Sheriff. Uh, by the way, where's Mr. Hickok? Well, he figured it was no use coming back now that the trouble's over, and he just sent me back to report to the sheriff, and now that I've done that, I guess I'll be moseying too. So soon, huh? But when will we see you two again, sir? So, well, now the way Bill and me get around, that's a right good question, Senator. Adios to you. <laughs> A horse is out of sight, Jingles. Yeah, Bill, they're back in the draw. Keep hidden behind this rock. We can watch from the mine entrance from here. You know, I'll bet there's enough gold in that diggings to sink a ship. Or start an Indian war. Uh, how long do you think we'll have to wait, Bill? Not long. Whoever knows about the gold will be here to stake his claim quick, now that the Indians are gone. Yeah, then we'll know who's behind all this trouble. Quiet, Jingles. A couple of horses coming. Two of them, huh? Well, speaking of old men... Shh. Lay low. Wait till they leave the horse. <laughs> sure got to hand it to you, boss. Shut up, Utah. Just start driving the stakes. What's the hurry, Jim? Who's that? I think you know us. Hey, Cut. What's the meaning of this? You'll know that when you explain why you're here, Senator Hasty. Well, I'll be a bobtail buzzard. And all the time I thought it was that ornery sheriff buying all this trouble. There's nothing wrong with my claim in this land. You can't prove anything else. Utah Ike Saddlebags might turn up something. We'll have a look. Hey, boss, just shut up. In the meantime, both of you make like you was growed there. Good. Look what I found, Jingles. An arrow. Just like the ones that was shot at us last night. Me, he's nothing. Lots of arrows around. Sure. Just an arrow it picks up in the hill. That's a lie, Utah, and you know it. You made this yourself. You think so? There are only Shoshone Indians in this country, Utah. This isn't a Shoshone arrow at all. It's made like a Ayut arrow, just like those in your country. Why, Utah, of course. Well, you... <laughs> Billy's jumping you. We want him alive, Jingles. Then, then the senator's <laughs> all mine. You... No! I so much... Oh, ain't help, Jingles? I'm doing fine, ain't I, Senator? <laughs> well, they may, be, may be alive, Bill, but they sure ain't kicking much. Just leave me here, Jingles. Ride back to town and get the sheriff. The sheriff? Yeah. 
Well, Hickok, I reckon the senator in Utah won't give no more trouble where they're locked up. Chief Red Horse will be glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll be glad to tell him. And something else that might interest you and Jill Rose. Well, what's that, Sheriff? Well, sir, your tip was right, Hickok. Hasty weren't no senator after all. Never was. No, sir, I just got it out of him. Oh, shucks, you knew it all the time, Bill, and I thought I was meeting a real live senator. You will someday, Jingles. Well, here's Red Horse's camp. Ooh, but shut. Yeah. Hey, he's waiting to meet us. Whoa, Joker. Yes. Hi, hiya, Chief. Red Horse, make you welcome. Thank you, Red Horse. Indian tribe want to give thanks to white man Hickok. You make promise to bring peace to Indian. You keep promise. Good. Yeah. You see, Red Horse, I told you Wild Bill would catch them varmints that was after your gold. Well, Chief Red Horse, you reckon I got a piece to speak to? You speak, Sheriff. Red Horse, listen. Well, I've been wrong about the Indians. From now on, we're going to have nothing but peace among us. I'm going to see to it. White men, red men, live as brothers. Good. Now, you all come smoke peace pipe with Red Horse. <laughs> well, well, now, that's a right nice invitation, Red Horse, but seeing as Bill and I don't smoke pipes, how do you reckon you might smoke up a couple of nice, big, juicy buffalo steaks instead? <laughs> And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison, and Andy Devine. Well, folks, we'll be riding back this way again next week with another exciting story. We sure will be, and you can bet your bottom saw buck there'll be plenty of trouble, and we'll be right in the middle of it. Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you're all eating Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right. It's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on. You bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir, be sure to listen next week at the same time on the same station when Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Gene Vanderpile, Joe Forte, Charlie Lung, Horace Lewis, Tom Holland, and Jack Moyles. Our director is Paul Pierce, music by Dick O'Rourke. This is a David Hire production, transcribed in Hollywood. This is Charlie Lyon reminding you, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. <laughs> Thanks, brother.